Hey guys, I'm Magic Dave. This is uh, World Project, which is, uh, in case this is the first time you've seen one of these videos, um, it's a work in progress um, game for PC, Oculus Rift, um, and probably HTC Vive, I guess, if I ever get my hands on one. Um, but at the moment, um, what you're looking at is the output on a video. Um, you're seeing what I'm seeing, but I'm, I've got the Oculus Rift headset on, the DK2 headset. Um, and yeah, I'm just rendering what what I'm at, what I'm seeing, uh, or sort of similar to what I'm seeing. So it's sort of another another output screen. Um, seems to be working all right. Um, so yeah, um, what, what's happened since the last video is I got my new Windows PC, and um, you know it's got kind of a fancy graphics card and everything. I thought that I'd be able to then get good frame rates on the DK2. Uh, but I didn't, which was a bit disappointing. Um, but basically, uh, the Oculus Rift SDK is not um, not very keen on you doing very much at all, especially on the main thread. Um, so I went ahead and moved um, a bunch of work off the main thread. So the physics is on a different thread, the terrain generation is on a different thread, um, and the uh, trees and everything are on another thread, and there's a few other threads as well. Um, so. Yeah, so now it's it's running pretty good. It's um, basically not really dropping any frames. Um, still does occasionally, but I I mean, yeah, it's running at like 400 frames a second if I'm not using the Oculus Rift. So um, it's it's doing pretty well. I'm not sure if I can optimize it all that much further. So I hope that um, Oculus improve um, some of their um, code to make it. Um, I guess utilize the graphics card a little bit more because it just sort of sits and waits for the, for the time to submit the next frame and it blocks everything and um, it, it seems like it could do a bit better but you know it's working so that's good and it should only really get better providing I don't add too much stuff um, yeah so aside from that um, let me just find the sun and get to that set um so I've, I've just been playing around with the shaders mostly um just trying to get everything really rock solid in different conditions um i've added a um light source on the player so uh, just sort of a spotlight on your head um so that's kind of cool um the light is always showing but during the day you can't notice it because i'm changing the exposure of the whole scene um so it's kind of a more accurate um representation of how light actually works and I think that'll pay off you know I can have um, sort of transitions between light and dark areas and everything so that's pretty cool um, and yeah I'm, I'm now using an Xbox controller to move around um, so um, I, I initially was using the mouse um, and then yeah as soon as I sort of got reasonable frame rates on the DK2 I sort of realized that it just was not uh, a good way to control the player um, so I've done that and I've made it so that you can actually uh, rotate around with the bumper the left and right bumpers um, because I did have it so that the right analog stick rotated the player but that just made me sick like really it was really bad <laughs> so I'm finding that this is a good way of just turning around just sort of snapping around um, seems to work pretty well um, and the other thing I've done is you can now look at a tree and it knows you're looking at the tree and likewise with the um, triangles on the terrain um, so yeah that's kind of the next um, well it's the start of the next big step which would be interacting with um, geometry um, so it's you know it's kind of a tricky problem because yeah you have to sort of isolate uh, well yeah basically I'm using the physics engine to do this and it's over multiple threads so it's sort of it's a, it was a quite a tricky thing to get to this point but now that I'm actually able to know what you're looking at I should be able to sort of make it so I mean I could just now hit the A button and chop down this tree for instance uh, which would be pretty cool um, and that's kind of where I'm heading next is, is you know trying to make it so you can chop down trees pick up things that are in the environment throw them around you know just really get it interactive and um, I thought that I might be at that point by now, but with all the performance optimizations, uh, yeah, I didn't quite get there, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm getting pretty close. Um, another thing that I tried was just uh, rendering heaps and heaps of triangles. 
Um, at one point, I was rend rendering two million triangles um, to you know um, just in the terrain, and it looked amazing. But um, I don't think that's going to be practical, unfortunately. Um, it would be yeah, it would be it would work without the Oculus Rift. But I think if I'm going to support um, support the Oculus Rift as well as dynamic environments where you can kind of um, change things and uh, whatever, then um, it's not really going to work out. So that's okay. It was kind of cool to see, you know. It's like, wow, it did look really cool. But um, it still looks great with this kind of low poly thing. I, I made these triangles. Um, they're, they're now two meter edges instead of one meter. It's kind of, I mean, it's a bit of an optimization, but it's also, um, I just felt like the triangles were too small and you wouldn't, you never want to actually do something that to that small an area. So, so yeah, it's just kind of an easy optimization. Um, the world size is still the same. It's just uh, one less subdivision level of triangles. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's probably about all I wanted to talk about. Um, in this episode um, and yeah next time hopefully I'll be throwing things around um, that would be nice um, oh I, I did I had to get rid of gravity as well on the player like you just sort of um, fly around now um, because gravity just feels awful when you're in VR you just if you if you don't have control over what your body is doing then then it feels bad <laughs> so yeah I mean actually getting um, getting the headset working and and being in here in vr it's it's just it's so important because i just had no idea it's kind of funny um you know just what the implications of um trying to make something for vr would be and um yeah i was actually almost thinking that this whole idea was bad for a bit there but um no i think i think it's going to work i think i think this will um now that I've got the controls feeling a bit better and, and you know know what I'm aiming for, I think this is going to turn out really good. So um, onward and upward, I guess, and uh, we'll catch you next time.